What's happening guys? A massive sell-off in crypto over the last seven days. Bitcoin alone has dropped 30% all the way from 70k through to 50k. And now the big question on everyone's mind, is this just the start of a major sell-off or is it setting up a wonderful long opportunity at cheap prices? That's the big dilemma and the answer is nobody knows. But I'm going to go through this in my video today and we're going to look at arguments for why there is a potential setup here and what we need to look out for to confirm that setup, where the invalidation point is and what is our overall target. Now, coming back to what we discussed in previous videos, we know my target for the year had been where our confluence is to the upside at around 170k. So that little recap as to uh, the reason for the level. Uh, so ultimately ex extrapolating the trend line connecting the highs with the US election where I think we're going to get pulled into with this trend uh, and so November this year and then it's the pitchfork upper warning line confluence and then also a fib projection if we take our fib retracement tool from our previous major high to low and we get the 1.618 for projection, all coming in near enough around that 170k target right there. Okay. In terms of the major Elliott wave count, it's not the most clear cut. There's various ways of looking at it. I spoke previously how we could be in an ending diagonal. There is another count where this could be a five wave move up where we've got a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five. Yeah. It doesn't matter which one it is. Yeah. The point is we look for confluence to calculate the probabilities to determine whether we're on track to meet the target or not as far as i'm concerned if we fail to hold on to 50k then this potential pause here this consolidation in the upward trend will have failed and as a result that will be a three wave move finish and then we're going to correct that at least probably a 0.618 correction which would bring you down to 30k. Okay, so low to high, fib retracement, 0.618, 28k. Yeah, I would see us coming down, eating into this consolidation if we fail to hold 50k. Because this setup now, I'll label it in a moment with an Elliott Wave scenario. That is kind of the most drastic correction we could have got. That's still suggests that it is a corrective pattern or a bull flag whatever you want to call it with a setup further to the upside okay if it drops down any further than 50k i believe we're coming down to at least 28k now the big account then there's various ways so obviously you've got potentially it could be one massive regular flat it could be an a a b and a c in which case it means coming down to 15k the scenario where it doesn't drop down as far would be for example an ascending triangle so we've got an a a b a c as i say that could come down to your 28k and then you get a d equal highs and then an e and then we go higher could play out something like that okay so that's if we lose 50k as i say i'd be very concerned if we lose this 50k here so at the moment there's a potential setup at 50k uh, we'll go in on the lower time frames in a moment just to have a look at that but yeah, there's certainly no confirmation of it materializing just yet. We're very likely to get a dead cap bounce regardless of whether we're going uh, up or down here. So we're likely to see a bit of a bounce. We are getting a little bit of a bounce. So the question is, is it a dead cap bounce getting ready to roll over or is it starting off as a new bull trend? And I'll repeat, nobody knows the answer. Okay, nobody, not one person on the planet knows the answer. Okay, there will be people with a better idea than others, but the truth is no one knows. We don't know. There's so many things interfering with the markets. Yeah, we've got the Middle East tensions right now with fear of escalation. Uh, we've had recent uh, earnings reports and perhaps we're a bit more lackluster and it's probably part of the reason for the sell-off. Um, so lots and lots of things but one thing's for sure crypto has done its part uh, you know we've seen the bitcoin halving we've had the the bitcoin and ethereum uh, spot etfs introduced we've had presidents and billionaires and corporations endorsing crypto crypto has done its part and yet we've still had that huge sell-off so now we're really relying on 
the US indices. It's the US indices, I believe, the turmoil there that has sent the market down here. And we, the crypto is still hugely reliant on a healthy stock market. Um, and so obviously we need to see a bounce there. But in today's video, we're going to be largely looking at it from the crypto crypto's perspective. Um, so let's see. So basically this scenario here now, now previously the invalidation was at the lower median line of this pitch walk. I really wanted us to hold on to that. Yeah. And there was a very obvious scenario where we're looking at a W, X, Y into here, double confluence with the lower median lines of our pitch walks. We've got the major pitch walk going up. It's a smaller pitch walk coming down and we had the lower median line often a wonderful intersection there where we bounced pretty nicely it looked pretty impulsive to be fair and then as you can see we've rolled back down so i did have the count as a w x y and obviously now if we're arguing that it's still a consolidation getting ready to go up here from 50k then the count suddenly becomes a w x y x z okay simple as that now it's not as clear on this chart as it is on the bitcoin futures chart so i'll just pull up the bitcoin futures chart but there is this megaphone pattern okay also known as an expanding triangle can't really call it an expanding triangle it's more of an expanding wedge because an expanding triangle the lines should deviate away from each other like that so the fact that both lines are coming down here you know you can see both lines uh, beneath the horizontal um, makes it more of a, an expanding wedge regardless it doesn't matter it's an expanding pattern here we can call it a megaphone we can call it a wedge it doesn't really matter but the point is there is a potential setup there also previous consolidation high has been tested big wick to the downside off of that so as i say the argument still remains it could be a dead cat bounce getting ready to roll back over maybe just eating into this overhead consolidation and then we come back down or it could actually materialize into a major bottom here and we could break out to the upside okay confirmation will only be when we take out the upper trend line though there will be other signs to look out for all right so that's i just wanted to pull up the bitcoin futures chart because it demonstrates that megaphone pattern better than any other chart so just coming back to the uh, Bitcoin index chart. So that, that's the argument, the W, X, Y, X, Z. So ideally, in an ideal world, we would have held on to this lower median line of this pitch walk. This was where my invalidation was. So beneath, as soon as we went beneath this lower median line, as far as I'm concerned, there was no reason to be in crypto. That's any altcoin or Bitcoin. There was no reason to be in it. OK, and I'm glad I made that decision because obviously we did have over the last couple of days that further big, big, big sell off. And um, we didn't know if it was going to hold here, but we've had a response at 50K um, and it needs to hold this. Because as I say, if we lose that megaphone pattern, there's not really another correct corrective pattern that I can see that this could kind of evolve into that would suggest that we're going to continue uh, up to the upside following a, a bull flag okay so as soon as we lose 50k the megaphone pattern has been kind of eliminated as a result that means that's a, a three wave move first wave second third obviously being corrective so it means we're going to come right back down and at least correct the move from here to here and as i say 0.618 is your most common target yes it could be the 50 or 0.382 but i believe it would be more likely a, a larger consolidation probably coming into this previous level as i say into around 28k so it really really needs to hold and as i say it will be highly dependent on what we're seeing in stocks because crypto has done its bit as i said so now strictly speaking with the pitchforks it's the lower warning line that still kind of you know if we had broken the lower warning line i would obviously be more concerned i didn't i said ideally it would hold on to the lower median line uh didn't kind of play out and that's why my concerns were heightened it was a reason to come out and now i believe there's an argument to get back in now it really depends on how you like to play this and it all depends on your risk appetite i am prepared to take on more risk and watch the charts very very closely to see if this move from the, the the bottom here is playing out okay a safer way to play it is obviously getting through these pitchfork lines wait for some confirmation obviously in doing so you lose a bit of risk reward well quite a lot of risk reward to be honest but uh that's a safer way of playing it yeah 
So it all depends on your risk appetite. Yeah, that's some, uh, an independent decision one has to make. Uh, that cannot be, uh, there's no advice on that. Uh, so um, yeah, unfortunately we do have to make those independent decisions. And as I say, I'm prepared to uh, look at this as a, a long opportunity, but as I say, I'll be watching it like a hawk and be being very, very careful not to uh, be, get caught in any further major sell-off. So, uh, so yeah, that's the argument. The WXYXZ down into 50K, test of previous consolidation, megaphone pattern completion, has to hold, otherwise Bitcoin is gonna absolutely tumble. And the target remains the same, yeah? Huge moves to the upside. And if it does go through the election, doesn't manage to make its move prior to the election, this, so this vertical line is the election line here. Uh, if it does take longer, that's even better because that means we're gonna meet this trend line even later. So I would, ideally, this takes ages to just consolidate, going sideways through the election and then go to the upside. I would love that because then the upside potential is even greater, yeah? So it doesn't have to squeeze it into this short three month time frame between now and the election, but I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, crypto d does move like that. When it starts flying with a major uptrend, that's how it can potentially move. Um, so yeah, that's the argument for it. Looking at Bitcoin here. Um, there is also another reason for the level being held here, I just want to pull up our very trustworthy camera of pivots. Uh, and it's the weekly time frame where we've just kind of tagged the R3. Let's just take off everything else to clean up the chart. So here you can see it was the R3 at 50K, just got tagged right there. Um, so I can just, as I mentioned previously, the, uh, the US indices are hugely important to monitor also. Um, and with that, it's worth looking at the VIX. Let's just pull up the VIX here. So the VIX is obviously the fear index for the S&P 500, so kind of inverted to the S&P 500. Let's just take off our camera pivots, bring on our annotations, and it's on the linear scale that I find it to be the most valuable. And we're gonna go on the weekly time frame. So basically you get a repeated episode of these kind of wedges forming, and then we suddenly break to the upside. And uh, we kind of broke, as you can see, this is with the, the fear index absolutely flying to the upside here. Um, so it is concerning, but as you can see, it's come straight back down. Yeah, a bit of a recovery today. Um, so that, that is the concern. Now let's just take a look at the US indices. So first of all, the NASDAQ. Now apologies, these charts, I've got quite a few pitchforks on them. Uh, we're gonna go back on the log scale. And I'm gonna show you how there are pitchforks here the original pitchforks to the downside because it was a strong sell-off obviously so a steep gradient sell-off first second third pivots into the lower warning line and a huge bounce right here so ideally we get above this lower median line that's the first target to clear the median line will be the next key one to take out okay so that's here on the nasdaq i'm on the daily time frame by the way uh, but you can see a similar picture on the smp so here on the smp so again it's the original pitchfork First, second, and third pivots, uh, lower warning line tagged here. There's also an intersection of the lower median lines of two other pitchforks, and I'll quickly show you what they are. Probably better seen on the weekly time frame. So, the bigger, let me just show you the bigger pitchfork here. So, the bigger pitchfork is the major pitchfork going all the way back to the financial crisis down here. So, starting in 2009, holding the price action wonderfully well, as you can see. And Let's just see. I think it was the upper me oh, sorry, it's the upper media line of this major pitchfork that I think we've just gravitated towards. So let's just see. Yeah, so it's that see the upper median line coming across. That is where we've just hit it. We hit it here and we've hit it again. So we've got the lower warning line of this smaller pitchfork. We've got the upper media line of our major pitchfork. And I believe this pitchfork also, I think it's the lower media line of that one. So this is just looking at this trend here. First, second, third pivots, modified shift pitchfork. And yeah, on this time frame, not hitting it to the T, but it's the lower median line that we're getting. So confluence amongst three pitchforks there for the S&P 500. So we'll see, we'll see, we need to see what resilience now the US economy has, uh, which we'll be looking out for. Across the NASDAQ, the Dow, uh, the S&P, uh, obviously Russell 2000 is important to monitor also. 
but here, as I say, on the S&P, we want to see it start climbing through the pitchfork lines because otherwise this could just be a dead cat bounce, maybe just eating into this consolidation before rolling back down again. So I'll be keeping a close eye as to what happens here. But one thing I know from experience is when we see these huge drastic sell-offs, most people are clicking sell or they're getting stopped out. Okay, And it's usually that situation when everyone is bearish that the market start to turn around. Okay, the question is, will the turnaround be a dead cat bounce getting where it draws everyone back into long positions and then just rolling over again? Or is it literally going to be the start of something very big to the upside? Okay, so as I say, I'll repeat, nobody knows this is a game of probabilities, but you want to look for the greatest probability opportunities by getting the good risk reward, lots and lots of confluence for your support levels. And that's the way to play it. Um, so I'm going to leave it with that. Obviously, it's, we're likely to see a lot of volatility, volatility continue here. And I look forward to updating you on the next video. All right, guys, take care. Thank you for your attention and watching through to the end of this video. Now, I know there's a lot of you watching that would like to learn how to confidently trade the financial markets independently. And I also know how confusing this can be regardless of how many stressful hours that you put in. For that reason, I've put together all of my trading knowledge in a complete course titled The Works. The Works consists of thorough and jargon-free lessons broken down into a comprehensive curriculum, providing you with a holistic understanding of the markets and giving you an accelerated journey to being able to analyze and trade the markets all by yourself. And for those of you that are looking for my weekly detailed video analysis on crypto and stocks, then there's Cryptology, which is a subscription that will also give you access to The Works while subscribed. For more information on what's included in the works or cryptology, you can head on over to wave618.com or alternatively use the links in the description to this video for a limited time 50% discount offer. So I hope to see you on the other side, but in the meantime, if you would like to sample some of my educational videos, then you can check out these videos that you can see on your screen right now. Thanks once again and until next time, take care.